That's the reason whether it be flute, whether it be guitar, whether it be the other instrument, it's prohibited. Coming to your first answer again, that why don't we say brother who follow the Quran and brother who don't follow the Quran? Brother, there are many people who say they are Muslims and yet they don't follow the Quran. We have to say brother who's a Muslim and not following Quran. So I say brother in faith. Brother in faith means brother who has submitted his will to God. He may not be a good practicing Muslim. Fine? So brother in humanity means you are a human being. I'll call you brother. But brother in faith means a person who agrees that he has submitted his will to God. So today if you say you want to acquire peace by submitting a will to God, first you have to find out what is the will of God. Go to the Veda. It will speak about Almighty God. It will talk about a messenger to come. His name is Prophet Muhammad. Last and final revelation in the Quran. So if you believe in that, I will call you brother in faith. So brother in faith is more closer to me than brother in humanity, but both are brothers to me. Hope that answers the question. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, can we take a question on to my left, the back? Yeah, I am a Vikram. I am an auditor by profession. This is a question of my friend. Uh, the question is, what is the b reason behind slaughtering the animals in Bakrid? Uh, does this really satisfy Salah? Does this have any scientific reason as other rituals have in Islam, like fasting? Well, that's a question that what is the reason, what is the logic behind slaughtering the animal during Bakrid? Does it satisfy Allah? Does it have scientific reason like the other Islamic rituals have got scientific reason like fasting, etc.? Brother, Allah says in Surah Hajj, chapter number 22, the blood and the meat does not go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He does not require blood and meat. It is your piety, it is your taqwa which reaches him. So we slaughter the animal not because the blood and meat should go to Allah. That's in most of the other religions. In the other religions, you slaughter the goat for the God. And you leave it on the idol. Maybe somebody else will come and eat it, the priest or someone. But you leave it to the idol for God. Quran says in Surah Anam, chapter 6, verse number 14, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He feeds everyone, but does not require to be fed. So when we slaughter the animal, we don't do it so that the meat and the blood go to Allah. The logic is, it is in remembrance of the incidents of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. When Almighty God asked Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, that who do you love the most in this world? after Almighty God. So he says, my son. So Almighty God asked him, that will you sacrifice the most beloved thing which you like for me? And Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, he listens to this commandment. And his son tells his father, Ishmael, peace be upon him, that father, blindfold your eye so that though you love me, you should not see me. Maybe your hand would not execute what your God wants. So in this way the incident continues and when he is about to slaughter his son, there is a replacement by a sheep, by a goat. In remembrance to that, we commemorate the Bakrid. Now when we slaughter the animal, it is a remembrance to the world that Almighty God does not require human sacrifice. He was testing Prophet Abraham. Not that Almighty God did not know whether Prophet Abraham will pass in the test. No. He knew it very well. That this Prophet of mine, he will pass the test. It is reminding everyone that human sacrifice is prohibited. Even today, especially in this country of ours, India, every day human beings are being sacrificed in the name of God, which is prohibited. Here we are being reminded Almighty God does not require human sacrifice. Furthermore, when we slaughter the animal, we do not believe that the meat and the blood go to Almighty God. When we slaughter the animal, we have to give minimum one-third to the poor people. Other one-third, we give to relatives and friends. Maximum you can keep is one-third. So here again, we are sharing. If you want, you can give everything to the poor people also. But minimum one third you have to give. One third to your relatives and friends. One third you can eat. It is helping the poor people. Feeding the poor people. So here we are being reminded that human sacrifice is prohibited. 
and we are being reminded that Almighty God does not require blood or the flesh of any animal. At the same time, we are helping our poor people to feed them and increase the brotherhood. Hope that answers the question. Yes, the next question goes to the sister's side, on to my right. Yes, sisters. My name is Shanti. My friend Abdul brought me here. Actually, I never expected a mass so, you know, huge. And uh, though I've been in conversation with this friend Abdul, he has cleared a few doubts. But uh, coming here, uh, after especially hearing you, sir, I'm appalled, appalled by the truth of Islam. But here you, you've given the name peace. But in the world, so much strife is going on and well, there's something called peace which you have to go in search of. Don't you think that um, you need to address the world in, you know, on the whole? This was asked a question that she had little knowledge about Islam from a friend. She came to this talk, she was impressed with the audience, she is appalled with the knowledge and my speech and she said that shouldn't we speak about peace throughout the world to the world at large sister if you really appreciated the talk and really impressed with the matter i've spoken i would suggest that i would request you to accept this religion of submitting our will to god And if you accept submitting a will to God, then is the time you can get true peace. Islam comes from the root word salam, which means peace. It's also derived from the Arabic word film, which means to submit your will to God. So the best way you can get peace is by submitting a will to Almighty God. So first of all, I will come to the rest of the world. I am first interested in you, sister, directly. Because you asked the question. First, I would like you to be at total peace. So my request is that if you accept the way of life of submitting a will to Almighty God and be at peace, I would be very happy, sister. As far as telling the world at large about peace, this is an exhibition, a conference. Peace, the vision of Islam. We have such exhibitions and this is the fourth such exhibition. We had a similar one in Bombay a couple of months back from the 23rd of November to 2nd of December in Bombay. And the audience here, what you see on the last day was multiple times more, 200,000. So if this impressed you, maybe 10, 15,000, that was 20 times more in Bombay. More than 200,000 for the last talk of mine. The topic was peace, the solution for humanity. Or is Islam the solution for humanity? And I do agree with you that these small number, 10,000, 15,000, 200,000 in Bombay, is a very small number. We should proclaim it to the world at large. That's the reason two years back we have started a channel by the name of Peace TV. And this Peace TV, Alhamdulillah, in the past two years, at present, it reaches throughout the world. All the countries in Asia, Middle East, Africa, Australia, Europe, North America, Alhamdulillah, and today it has the reaches more than 90% of the world. They can watch if they want to watch, but the people that are watching are more than 75 million. It is the largest watched Islamic channel in the world, Alhamdulillah. Percentage-wise, little bit more than 1% of the human population. So at least I can bear witness to Almighty God on the Day of Judgment that we at least gave the message to 1% of the human population, 75 million. We prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, made the viewership increased. But those who want to watch, you only have to put a dish, maybe of 6,000 rupees, less than $200. And almost any part of the world, you can watch this channel. So we are also conveying this message of peace, Islam, throughout the world. But now I'm interested, sister, that hope you accept this message of peace. Yes, sir. Thank you.